If you've been to your local Subaru dealership in the last month or so and tried to buy one of these, a regular old engine oil filter, you might have noticed something. They don't have any. Subaru has not been able to get these oil filters for quite a while now, and you probably got an off-brand, no-brand, or just blank filter. In today's video, we're going to talk about Subaru's oil filter crisis and why this might turn out to be a good thing for you Subaru owners. So recently I went to my own Subaru dealership and I stopped by to pick up some H6 engine oil filters because I noticed the last time we did an oil change on the LL Bean, I didn't have any more factory oil filters. So when I was there, I actually talked to my parts guy and found out that they just got those in and they'd been on back order for quite a while. The other issue is the blue engine oil filters for the four cylinder engines made in the USA. They can't get them. They haven't been able to get them for a while. And it's been such an issue, Subaru has actually issued a TSB, a technical service bulletin on this issue. And I'll put the service bulletin in now. Now in this service bulletin, it talks about that due to shortages and unforeseen circumstances, Subaru can no longer get their hands on their genuine USA made oil filters. And there is a new alternative filter in place and an alternative engine oil procedure in place due to the filter change. Now there's two parameters in this service bulletin where this oil flushing procedure will be performed and that is at the vehicle's very first oil change at 6,000 miles or if the engine has had a short block replacement, any kind of internal engine work done, turbocharger replacement, cylinder heads off, etc., this procedure is to be followed as well. So as you see in the procedure headline, it says to bring the car in, engine oil hot, drain that engine oil, put the drain plug back in with the old crush washer, fill the engine back up with oil, and then run the engine at 2,500, 3,000 RPM for several seconds, and then repeat that several times, then drain that oil again, replace the crush washer, replace the filter, and add new oil. So apparently Subaru has been having issues on the new vehicles. We talked about new Subaru engine oil break-in procedures and why I think that new cars are a little weird with breaking in their engines on synthetic oil and not doing the first oil change to 6,000 miles that back in the day we used to change it at 100 miles, 1,000 miles, 1,500, then 3,000 miles to make sure that any chaff or any uh, residual metal debris from the original manufacturer of the engine, the wearing in of the metal components, uh, the bearings and such establishing wear patterns. There's a little bit of chaff, a little bit of metal comes off during that, gets suspended in the oil, and you want to keep flushing out that oil, replenishing it with new oil so that contamination doesn't circulate through the engine. That was the old school method of doing it. That was the way I was brought up. That was the way I was taught when I went through trade school to do on a new engine rebuild. But apparently uh, that's going by the wayside with new vehicle manufacturers where they just throw oil in it change it the first oil change but now Subaru with this service bulletin is saying you know that we should do a flushing procedure put fresh oil in it flush it around um, dump it back out then replace the filter so those are the two parameters for this new oil replacement flushing procedure but in that service bulletin it also names two new filters to replace the old genuine blue filters now that is all well and good in theory, but I've heard that Subaru hasn't been able to get those special new replacement filters, and a lot of local Subaru dealers have just been scrambling and buying oil filters anywhere they can get their hands on them. Case in point, my local Subaru dealer, Subaru South Boulevard, when I was looking at the used Subaru Outback Wilderness that I posted about, community post, about a week ago, I noticed that that car had an AC Delco branded oil filter on it. Now it's blue and it looked like a Subaru, but it did not have the correct markings. And someone had taken a Sharpie and wrote SSB for Subaru South Boulevard on that oil filter. On the Subaru Outback forums, there's been lots of people commenting on this issue and the different oil filters they have received from service from their Subaru dealer. I'll put a couple pictures in now. A lot of them are blank generic non-branded filters. Some are made in China. Some are uh, probably of poor quality and not an equivalent for a Subaru filter. But 
The Subaru dealers are kind of working with what they've got now. And this is an interesting issue. From what I've heard for the grapevine, uh, we know that Fram slash Honeywell was the manufacturer of these USA Blue filters. Now, prior to that, Subaru was using Curolator for their USA-made filters. Before that, Subaru of America was importing Japanese filters for their vehicles. Now, Subaru still imports black filters, the Tokyo Roki made in Japan Subaru filters for the H6 engine in the older Outbacks with the 3.6 or the 3.0, and for the turbocharged engine in the WRX, they had black Japanese Tokyo Roki made filters. All the NA cars and basically everything else got the blue USA made filters. In previous videos, we've cut these two filters apart and shown the drastic difference in the quality of this blue USA made filter compared to the imported Japanese filter. Now, a quick run down memory lane real quick as I have some old oil filters, and I know this is such a popular topic, or at least it seems so, with you viewers. So many of you that have owned Subarus for a while since the 90s, early 2000s, were probably familiar with this box right here and this white Subaru oil filter. Now, this is the previous generation oil filter I talked about just a little bit ago that was made in the USA, as you see there, and it was made by Purolator. Now, we can see how much bigger this oil filter was, and this oil filter was for the old EJ series engine for the naturally aspirated and the turbocharged. They had this big, white, Purolator made USA filter, and it was a good quality filter. But somewhere along the lines of around the early to mid 2000s, Subaru switched and dropped Purolator and went to Fram, then Honeywell, whatever the deal is there. I know some of you will correct me in the comments. I'm pretty sure Honeywell bought Fram or they merged or something. Anyway, they went to cardboard glued end cap internal filters instead of metal case internal cartridge filters. So on the EJ series engine, this was the size of oil filter they went to when they first started with the made in USA blue filters. I don't have one on hand. This is the Japanese equivalent. Uh, actually, this is for the K series for the sandbar, but it's roughly the same size. Now you can see the size difference here in the filter. This is what they were running on the EJ series when it was the USA Pure Later filter, and this is the filter size they went to once they started that first initial blue Fram made filter. So we went from a great filter to a bad filter. We got less filtration, less filter media, plastic glued on, uh, end caps in the actual cartridge, filtration cartridge in the can. We downgraded big time. Now, prior to this, back in the old EA series of engine, we had a humongous oil filter. And I've actually got an old NOS, new old stock filter from Subaru for the old EA series engine. And it was this big light blue filter. Now look at the difference between the EJ series oil filter and the EA series oil filter. A much smaller engine, but way bigger oil filter. Now these oil filters were made in Japan and imported, and they're marked as Fuji Heavy Industries back, you know, before Fuji Heavy Industries became the Subaru Corporation uh, about five years ago or so now. But uh, yeah, we went from a way bigger filter to a smaller filter. So the trend is Subaru just keeps making their filter smaller and smaller and smaller. That is, as I said, until recently we had the top mounted oil filter, the blue one here. It did get a little bit more elongated, but basically it was the same diameter filter as we've had for the last 10, 15 years. Now, if we want to go back a really long time ago, this is probably 1970s, later 80s NOS Subaru oil filter. Again, it's that powder blue, the Japanese import filter, but uh, it had a lot more Japanese writing on it and it had the old Subaru emblem on it. So Subaru is struggling right now with their oil filter issue. Now, where might that turn into a positive for you Subaru owners? So now that they're not getting their filters, from anyone really, uh, or at least the original manufacturer, Fram Honeywell, whoever it was, uh, can't provide them filters now, that might be our golden ticket for Subaru to one, start importing the black Japanese-made Tokyo Roki filters that are of superior quality, 
Two, they might go back to Purelator's USA-made filters that were of a better quality. Or three, they might actually go to another US manufacturer, which I would hope would be Wix. If Subaru went to a Wix or Purelator factory filter, that would be A-OK -okay with me. If they started importing the Japanese filters across the board, that would be A-OK -okay with me. So I, for one, will not be sad in the least to see the blue USA-made filter fade away into the sunset. Hopefully it doesn't come back. Hopefully we get a better product, a better oil filter from this uh, issue. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one.